at long last, I have a Michael Kors um, piece to uh, review here. I have a love and hate relationship with Michael Kors handbags. I've owned a lot of Michael Kors in the past, but um, to be honest, I'm not really, 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 really impressed. So I ended up giving those away and um, some of them I sold. And I'm not very, very impressed with the quality. In fact, I've read that um, the Michael Kors handbags are the number one handbags um, that are actually being returned at the mall. So I think they did a survey uh, and I think it's Nordstrom. The number one returnable item there is a Michael Kors handbag. So of all their handbags, it's, you know, so there must be something wrong with the quality, right? But his premium line, which is the Michael Kors, um, this is Michael by Michael Kors, which is his lower end line. But his premium handbags are really, really good. I've owned, um, I can't believe that uh, I, I actually um, bought a Michael Kors, I think it's Miranda tote, the large one, and I paid, I think, $800 plus for that handbag. And um, I fell in love with it. But I ended up um, selling it because um, I I could not close it. You could not close it entirely. So um, I've had things falling out every time I sit down or you know tie my shoe with it. It's just very inconvenient. But I love the quality of that of that handbag. But anyway, this is not a handbag handbag. I would consider this a crossbody bag. And I think the name is Michael Kors um, Flowers or Fleur um, Pouch in the medium size. So this could be, um, I was wondering why is it a pouch? Because it's probably small, but it has a very, very long, um, it's got a very, very long um, straps. Okay, so... Okay, I'm, you all know that I'm into, well, for those of you, um, you know that I'm into arts and crafts, right? So sometimes I, um, I bling my bags with uh, flowers and crystals and rhinestones. So let's, um, I think this is sold out uh, everywhere. It's sold out on two websites, Overstock, and I was just looking at it right now. So this must be very popular. Okay, so this is seven inches, so uh, seven inches in length and um, 5.5 inches in height and it's probably 1.5 inches in width. I like this because it's a very subtle blue. It's not blue blue. It's like a, uh, there is this... Um, it's a cross between a purple and a and a sky blue, so so it, it's really nice. It it has that pastel color type going on, but it's not. All right, it it's just very very um nice, easy on the eye. So okay, so it has the flowers, um, embellishments here, and the Michael Kors here and um. Yeah, I love it, okay? And you won't believe where I got this from, okay? Uh, I'm not, uh, to be honest, I, I'm telling you, I'm not going to go out and buy a new Michael Kors. This is newish, by the way. This is newish. Okay, so it has never been used, all right? So it has Michael by Michael Kors and that satin monogrammed um, lining over there. I love this, this baby blue style. All right, so I bought this for five bucks, okay? So I went to this uh, flea market. Um, it's our, my first time to go there. It was in Dania Beach. So they had a church, Catholic church flea market there. And, um, and I saw this and uh, I was like, mm, I like it because it's very, very, it's a bit structured. It's, it, it's you know, it's, kind of boxy. I, I like it. It's, it's, the shape is um, just nice. I know it's too small for me. I might, I'll just end up giving this away. But anyway, I love it. I love it in my collection. So, all uh, right. So, 
there were a lot of people looking at this. There were a lot of uh, old women looking at this handbag. And then when I finally moved in, I wasn't that interested yet because I thought it was a fake from a distance. So um, I like it. It's clean and it's new. It, it, it looks like it has never been used at all. All right. So how did I get it for five bucks? I didn't even have to... Um, I didn't negotiate because there was a big paint here, white at the edge. It was super white and it looks like paint. So when I was looking at it and she was telling me, oh, that's probably a paint. That's why I'm pricing it low because I don't know if you can remove it or not. So a lot, a lot of people have looked at that and when they see the paint, they, you know, they just go, oh, no, no way. So I said, okay, it's only five bucks. So I bought it. So when I came home... I tried to remove it with acetone and uh, alcohol and all that stuff. It didn't work. But then I tried pushing, I tried digging it with uh, my nail. <laughs> and it, it was a dried paint. And I was able to get it out. And I don't see any scratches at all. I used my nails. So my nails are very, very sharp. I, I was kind of um, skeptical to use... Uh, uh, the acetone, I, I did put it on a, a, a Q-tips, yeah, but uh, I was afraid that, you know, I would remove the, um, I would remove the, the collar or it could at least mess up the collar, but uh, it didn't do any, any good, so it didn't work, so I just tried, you know, I, I tried doing that and uh, with my nails and uh, I was able to remove it. So it's perfect. So for five bucks and I think they retail for, I think a hundred something, 175 or 165. I'm not really sure. Something like that. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to be using this, but I have to make sure to, to get the smallest water bottle. It's cute. It's cute. Or I'll, I'll give this, uh, give this away. All right. So there you go. Not bad for five bucks. Okay. Bye.